Good morning. Welcome to episode 14. Episode 14, guys. Uh, this is Fitness Podcast with Z. I am Z. And let's do this, man. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share it with other people. Please, 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 please. Let's go to episode 14. We're closing the show, guys. We're almost closing the show now so that we can be free to talk about other things. Who, who can wait? Uh, now, we're going towards uh, 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 the last... Uh, um, do they call these things like is it car statistics or, 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 or i don't know what what to call them but they these things that make up an instructor i believe that it's characteristics of, of group exercise so the last three uh, remember we had music and choreography then we had technique then we are now on this one which is coaching connection or making friends in class and performance yeah that's everyone's favorite so yes we're going to talk about those three things on this episode and i can't wait i made a nice prep here uh, because i don't want to be everywhere i want to be at least hitting those points that i want us to talk about let me just move my laptop so that i do not yeah i do not like go but that doesn't matter does it matter anyway so right we that's what we're doing and let's hit right onto it guys and see and, and go through these uh, these things okay so let's go first what is coaching i'm just going to get the simplest simplest uh, uh, i don't even know if this is a definition coaching is basically uh, leading people through your class and then in this case, it's mainly the things that you are going to say and the things that you are going to do in relation with the presentation. Unfortunately, I didn't prepare that definition. But if you are a coach and you know the definition of coaching, please type it on the on the comment section. Coaching is blah, 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 blah. So that we can have that definition. Actually, I didn't think of going and looking for it, the definition of coaching. Let's move on. Uh, now that we know what coaching is, now let's see in group exercise, how do you coach a class? How do you coach a class? Let's go. So uh, we'll go first to, 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 to in less meals, they call them coaching layers. So uh, what they say in, in their coaching layers, they say that in layer one, based on the structure of their classes which is the same but now if you look at other at, at freestyle classes the structure is not the same so based on their structure they tell you two things number one you must mention the name of the movement number two you must give the movement setup right now let me tell you what are those things in our case we are doing freestyle the first thing is you have to tell your people what they are doing okay so name of the movement cross go back jab let's go cross move jab now you've done that you mentioned that's the name of the movement right now movement set up how the movement is done so this movement the first thing that you have to know on which stance is the movement at right so this movement is on a combat stance right remember we had front stance and combat stance in the last episode so this movement is on a combat stance meaning the left foot is in front the right is at the back so now cross how is it so that's the first thing stance right then guard where is the guard guards are up when you're teaching cardio box all right guards are up uh, if you're teaching karate yeah you can have different types of guards but Guards are up, especially almost everybody is doing this one in South Africa. Right? That's the second one. So the first one, stance, combat stance, guard. Right? Guards are up, elbows in. All right? Okay, sharp. Now you've got this person. You go cross, you move, jab. When you throw in the jab, you have to explain. Okay, we're not, not yet there. <laughs> right? Preparation. 
Preparation would be uh, 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 the contraction of which muscles, you know, and then the elbows bringing them in, and then you understand now that that's you now preparing to throw the strike. Okay, stance preparation, stance guard preparation, they call it SGPS over there. Strike, now when you strike the cross, you know, now go back to technique. Rotate the arm, strike with the two big knuckles, look through the knuckles, push and pull, and then you move. Same with the jab, push and pull. Now these are the things that you tell your class understand so you first go cross move jab move let's go cross move jab move remember keep those elbows in engage that core when you are punching now you are now slightly bend your knees now you are preparing them then after that when you cross make sure you push and pull you get me let's go jab and pull now you're moving in with it now you, you've done your sgps now in Les Mills, they've got layer two, and I'm, uh, and I'm going to explain it quickly. In layer two, you are doing three things in Les Mills. They want you to, now with them, it's, it, it goes with their music. When the music is here, you're doing layer one. When the music is here, you move to layer two. When the music is here, it's time for, you understand? So when they get to layer two, uh, uh, and now, now that the people have got the movement, now you want to correct the movement. Remember you were teaching it at first, now you are correcting it on as they are doing it. You want it to be clean. Now you go to them, you understand? Now this is where you look what they are doing and you use the cues that you were just using right now. First you were telling them when you were teaching and they are following now, now you go to them and then you correct the movement. Correct the movement looking at someone. You correct the movement with them. You improve that execution. Okay. This is where I come now and I keep on talking and you guys give me the look. And I say I don't care if you are still inside here. Let's go. <laughs> then after that, you now want them to push. So you push, you, you push them to they say. They, I just forgot the term they use. It's a, it's a very simple term. I don't know why I forgot it. Maybe I forgot it then. No, I didn't write it. Then I think I was not going to write it. But what you want, now after you've, you've improved the execution, now you want, uh, the, yeah, you're pushing for intensity. So layer two, you correct the movement, improve the execution, you push for intensity. Then the third one that they have, is that now they say you educate now this is where you tell a person what could be happening in this movement using the scenario remember the scenario of a cardio box is a fight so if you are throwing a jab and they are attacking you then you go back and then you use a jab uh, you throw a cross they are attacking you you use a jab to keep them at bay they move back you go back cross you use a jab to keep them at bay you know when you go back you can't just go back you have to throw some punches okay which is in fact in fighting going back yes you can but you can't just keep going back you go back and change direction and go uh, uh, lateral they do a lot of lateral movement but there will be situations where you will pull back you know and then you go lateral which is the most important thing going lateral but that's not what you're talking about so as you're going back you're giving them a some information that this and if you want to talk about the jab tell them what what where it, what a jab works better on like you use it to keep opponents at bay to judge the distance between you and the opponent you use the jab to set up other punches and all those other things so cross move back jab now you are in a fight you cross they go to you you jab yeah same thing keep going right i think uh, i think I've, I've done layer two now yeah so layer two so let's go back they say layer I'll, I'll use a lot of they say so layer one it's going to be one the name of the movement secondly the setup of the movement that's that sgps then after that you move on to the next point where you are correction or correcting the execution of the participants and then you push for intensity 
you see that they've got it try to push for intensity they must push come on guys give me better punches let's move give me that distance right then now after that you educate why would we do this movement in a fight remember this is a fight simulation after educating get to another one now this is layer three motivation now you have to motivate these people to keep going now motivation is just going to be you're going to say things that will make them remember who they are where they from uh, and what they are working for okay so there are four types of motivation there's extrinsic motivation intrinsic motivation I don't know why I started. then they've got um, uh, there is achievement motivation and there is competence motivation now if you are dealing if you are motivating now as you are talking because you don't know who you're talking to you just throw around this motivation tools they wherever they land they will let some will land on some people some will land on some people i'll give an example if you are giving an intrinsic based uh, type of a motivation you're going to go out there and say tap into that animal inside you then all those who, who, who get motivation from within that's intrinsic then now that beast will come out you get me because they're like yeah now i'm tapping into that beast eh? beast mood ah. no, there are people like that then there's extrinsic motivation you know eh? you can use where you are in the class like look at the people on the classes they, they let's make sure that the reception they can hear that we are working here make sure you know then they, you see the reception guys they uh, coming up and watching through the class and some members in the gym watching through the class in the studios and you use that information hmm? to get them you get it. yeah that's extrinsic something that comes from the outside you know it doesn't have to be outside this point. anything could be when you are out of there walking around you know and, and, and whatever type of a motivation but you use something that will come from the outside so first come work with the beast from within then now get the motivation motivated based on something that will come from the outside when i'm saying outside i'm not saying outside the studio but outside umzimba wabo you get me yeah yeah uh, let's go on uh, what else the next one is achievement motivation this one is going to be for those people who maybe believe in goals or those people yeah mainly people who believe in goals let's use that example so uh, as the people are training Ga, 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 ga. Hey, they are training. Another achievement, I think those who do marathons will, will be motivated by that type of a motivation. You have to be number one next week, you know, that kind of a of, of, of motivation. So, and, or, or uh, 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 one, let's work for, work for that six pack, work for those beautiful shoulders. Come on, let's go. You know, now, as you are going through, you're, you're just running through this, this, this motivation tools because you don't know who's who here. You understand? So you don't know what motivates them, but you have to tap onto these four classes. Then the last class is going to be the competence motivation. I think, I personally believe that this is what motivates me. I love being competent at what I do. What do, you, what do I mean? Competence. If it's a cross, it has to be a cross right so now this is where now you go around it's like yeah that's a beautiful technique i love it look at that jab now you are qualifying them they are competent they are doing it right those people who believe in that type of motivation then they are going to be motivated so as you are teaching make sure your motivation cues are running in between these four uh, types of, 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 uh, of motivation right i think we've got it so let's go back run through these coaching layers from less meals and move them into our own lives again so 
according to Les Mills, layer one, movement name, and you also make sure that you go to the setup. So that means you have to mention what movement you're doing. Cross, move, jab. Then after that, you explain the execution. SGPS, stance. What stance is this? Preparation. No, yeah. Guard, stance, guard, preparation, and strike, right? Strike that includes the rotation of the knee, rotation of the ankle, rotation of the torso. Remember those things. Move on. We get to the second layer, which is the three things you improve execution, right? Let's go check are they doing it right, fix it, and all that stuff. And then after that, after improving execu execution, you go in and you. Ah, why am I forgetting? Improve execution. After improving execution, you go in, you push for intensity. Let's go. Understand. After pushing for intensity, you. Uh, after pushing for in intensity, you educate. Where is the movement coming from? Why would you use this movement in a fight? Then after that, you go to motivation. The four types. You deal with the four types of people that you are going to deal with in your class. Extrinsic, intrinsic achievement and competence motivation then you are almost done that's coaching understand according to group exercise that's coaching what will be the next one next one will be connection so now this is now the next level type of things uh, this is where after you've learned how to teach this comes now but this is where a lot of people start. Connection is building relationships in class. You know, building those relationships, creating an environment that makes people enjoy coming back to your class. When they are sitting there, they think about your class. That's the friendships you create and all that stuff. Please guys, Sanuku. Sanuku and Zai friendships, do not make friendships with members who are instructors. Don't gossip. Uh, run away from gossip. Trust me, you will build the right type of relationships. All the a-holes, I'm sorry for my French, will leave you and you will be left with the people. I'm not saying everybody that leaves is an a-hole, but a-holes definitely will leave and you will be left with the right people. And some people will live based on whatever reasons they have. Maybe they are used to controlling and they can't control you, they will leave. Whatever reason, they will leave those that have to leave. Others will relocate because they have to. Or because they found a class that makes them feel better than yours. And you should also accept that because sometimes you are not, you can be as good as, I don't know, as good as, I don't know if oil is good, as good as oil, but you can never be good enough for everybody and you should accept that and understand so uh, 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 as you are creating this environment focus on the people that are there that want to be there and give them the service and give them the the friendship but of course you can't go all out in in in, in gym friendships okay yeah and I believe that a lot of people uh, know how to do this one. I don't have to even dive deep into it. Right? Let's move on to the last one. Performance. We're talking about this with my wife uh, on Saturday. We're watching aerobic fitness and the instructors were teaching. And yo, I, we're talking about performance. People know how to perform out there. Uh, but I will, I will, I will uh, share some tips, and maybe it will help them improve what they already know. Or maybe there are people who don't know how to perform out there, and these tips will help. Help. I made a video three years ago. I actually went back and rewatched that video to do this part. Uh, the video I made, yeah, I made three years ago, uh, how to improve stage presence. That would be my example of performance today. I'm recording at 5 in the morning and day people are already passing now. 
I don't have soundproof in here. That's why I prefer to record in the wee hours. I hope they are not appearing the, on the other side. Like the speaker is not, the mic is not catching them. I hope. Right. So these are the five tips. Number one, record yourself. So now you're working on your performance. Record your do your movement. Record, and then go back, watch, and review, and and and, and improve where you, you you have to. You know, criticize yourself. Feel free to criticize yourself, criticize your work, and, 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 and work on yourself. It's very important. In fact, that's how I started my YouTube channel, by recording myself. And three years later, here we are. Voila! Yay. It's really interesting that I started this channel in 2018, but I started uploading videos in 2019, a year later. YouTube used to be difficult. Move around. So now, after when you are on stage, don't stand in one place, guys, or put your hands on your on your waist. Move around, yeah, move around. Pace, go that side, go that side, go that side. Just one day when you attend the class of an instructor, just look at the instructor and see what he's doing when he is not teaching the movement. Almost every instructor knows this. We have to move around on stage, otherwise everything feels and looks dull. I will upload a, a kick a kick video. <laughs> Please check what I'm doing. I also don't remember. Maybe I'll also upload a shape video because I've got a kick and a shape video that I recorded. Do moves you love. Do movements that you love. If you don't love a movement, do not do it. Leave it. There are people who love that movement. When I, when I instruct, don't do the movement your class loves. Do the movement that you love. Because the truth is, if you're doing something that you love, you're going to enjoy it. And if you're enjoying it, this thing is infectious. I don't know if, it, if there's a name called infectious. I think there is. This thing is contagious. I think that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. If you are happy, you are going to influence them. Unless those who hate you, they are just there. Why is he enjoying himself? Why is he enjoying himself? Uh, 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 uh. Why is he not doing it like Mketeket? Remember, you are not Mketeket. Do the movement that you love when Namziyan Damnyas or movement that you love as whoever you are. Right, the next one. Copy from your heroes. Hercules, I'm with you on this one, my friend. Copy movements from, from your heroes. Eh, 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 eh. I remember when I started uh, teaching, I I did almost everything that uh, 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 my coach taught me. LB. My coach is LB Kekana, by the way. He's the guy that taught me everything I know when it comes to group exercise. Copy movements from your heroes. I used to do everything that LB taught me, and whenever I go to his class, I will learn, come back here, I rearrange it so that it can suit my style, and then I deliver. You know, it can suit my style, my personality, the way I love doing things. Then I go and bring and present it. And, 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 and I would say, if I am your hero, <laughs> if I am your hero, feel free to take any movement that you want. I don't have a problem at all because that's how I also learned so that I could be uh, saying this now. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody, but I do believe that there are people who, okay, people, a lot of people have told me they watch my videos and they go and, and, and do assessments and pass. Uh, I, guys have been in class with, uh, in the recent courses, and, and obviously I won't mention anyone's name here. One of them told me that they you know what I was helped by your video uh, for me to remember most of the stuff, uh, the video that you did after we did our course and, and, and thank you for that video. I've got guys from uh, Tanzania, uh, Kenya and Zambia telling me that hey amen uh, I was uh, on for a an interview and and I used your 
your CD, your land, not your CD, man, sorry. I used your, your your class that you taught on such and such a date and, and I did the things that you did there and I got the job. Thank you very much, you know, I get it. It's, it's, it these are the kind of things that makes me to keep moving. These are the kind of things that makes me to do these videos so that they don't just only see, they can also know what I'm doing and understand what I'm doing. You understand? So yes, copy movements from your heroes. And the last one is, guys, please acknowledge your class. Tell them that they did good. Tell them you, you love the way they are, you know, you love the way they, 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 their energy and all those things. Tell them those things. Guys, when I say these things to you, it's not because it's choreographed. It comes from my heart. So these things must also you learn for them to come from your heart. When you acknowledge people, you will acknowledge them without even thinking about it. It will just come, you know. And and these things should be like a Bible, guys. Let's live this life of teaching people, keeping them uh, healthy. If you are in South Africa, keeping South Africans healthy. If you are in another country, keeping your people in your country healthy. Because guys, people are dying out there and they need this service. I believe that that is where it ends. Coaching, connection and performance. I hope that uh, I presented this properly uh, in terms of go ascending through the information that's why i always prefer to have a prep here so that i'm able to say the things that are going to help people you know yes guys uh, that's episode 14 the i think i feel very emotional about this episode uh, yeah these are these are the soft skills where these are the things that i believe that like uh, it's not like technique and, and, and these are these are the other skills uh, and and the way they are so important they uh, they define you as an instructor they they these these have kept me that's why i'm able to to go back and present a class even if i had a bad day I could see when I read like this was a bad, not a very good class, but because of these things, I'm still able to look back and say it was a, it was a great moment. Guys, on that note, please like and subscribe, and share the video. Love you all. Episode episode fourteen, fitness podcast with Mzee. Peace.